This one's for the fans. The fans being Sierra, Molly, and Tessa. Um, I just saw you guys. Obviously, except for I didn't have the same hair. I just got it cut. Um, the girl who does it always gives me like the middle bangs, but I'll probably wear it like more like side bangs. But this is where it's at, all curly and floopy and going around. So I had a cuter top on, but. I didn't like it on camera, so I'm in my like baggy Moody's shirt. Again, this one's for the fans, just the fans. Um, well, I'm gonna post it publicly, but we know it's for the fans, so I'm not too worried. But today, for my lovely ladies on the East Coast, I'm doing tarot readings. This is my Ipsy bag it says you're magic you're magic you are you are magic and you all probably saw this coming but what you didn't see coming is that I actually sit down and make a video so we're gonna go in order of who texted me back first so we're gonna go Molly and then Sierra and then Tessa First, we're gonna set a vibe, a oh, positive vibe with my positive vibe incense. Ryan's clomping up the stairs. Hold on. Okay, I think people will be quiet now, so we're setting the vibe. The positive vibe. Vibe incense. Me and Ryan have been going through a incense phase. It's a very fun treat because these are like a dollar a pack. So it's fun to buy, fun to light, fun to have. Highly recommend. And I believe this is the last positive vibes incense. And it smells good. Um, it doesn't say what it smells like, but I promise you it smells good and it smells like a positive vibe. So, throwing the trash on the floor. Oh, and this is my incense holder. We love a star. Hold it up while I light it, but then I'll put it back down. Oh, it's slipping. You get to be first. Yay, Molly. Where did I put the tarot cards? No, for real, where did I put the tarot cards? They ended up behind me. Fans know. This is the Crystal Vision deck, the one I got in college. My first ever deck. Which, it is bad luck to buy your first deck for yourself. I bought mine with a gift card, and I felt like that was enough of a loophole to make it count as a gift. Molly 
wanted to hear about her career. She wanted to dig into how she's at like a transition in her career, trying to figure out where to go in life. So the um, spread that I picked out for her from google.com is kind of centered around purpose. It's called a purpose layout. So it's gonna go about just like, question one is what do I, was I put on this planet to do? Two is what type of role is aligned with my life purpose? With my life's purpose? They wrote life on editing on the fly. Three is can I stay where I am or should I switch career paths? And four is how can I best live out my destiny? And aside from the Crystal Visions booklet for card definitions, I also have a new book that my lovely friend Alyssa, who is not an ASMR girly, so she will never know this happened, but my lovely friend Alyssa got me this little booklet called A Pocket Guide to Tarot Card Archetypes. A Pocket Guide to Tarot Card Archetypes. It's a little, it's organized weird. We all agree. Um, but, and it's a little shorter, like you get like a couple words like Two of Pentacles, balance, negotiation, negotiation. Um, but it's nice to get kind of like some phrases out there for each card, so we'll be tapping into this one as well. Oh, and I forgot the beverage of the evening. Some kombucha, some kombucha, 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 kombucha. Ah. made me feel like it might be slightly caffeinated or I have no idea what I'm talking about. Either way, I might be up a lot. I might not. It tastes good and I think it's good for your gut. So. Ah. Okay. Oh, and this is of course in a glass that is my room. doing inverses. We're going to do inverses facing me because I'm the only one here. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to shuffle this up. Think about Molly. Think like, what was Molly put on this planet to do? What was Molly put on this planet to do? What was Molly put on this planet to do? This one. Oh. It's down. We'll look at it later. <laughs> of role is aligned with Molly's life purpose? What type of role is aligned with Molly's life purpose? There we go. Sorry you can't see well or at all. Deal with it. Can Molly stay where she is or should she switch paths? And finally, how can Molly best live out her destiny? Okay, cards are picked. Deck is... I'm trying to decide where to put the deck because I lost it. And I don't want to lose it again. And I don't have much table service. The um, Julia Fox memoir that I've only read a page of. Okay. First, Molly, what were you put on this planet to do? And we have the High Priestess in verse. The High Priestess in verse. In verse, High Priestess. Here, I'll take a look at that. B. 
beautiful artwork. We have butterflies, we have this staff, beautiful colors. I love this card. Let's see what that means in verse. It's part of the major arcana, which is like the story, I guess. And it is number two of the major arcana. I, I. And reversed, the high priestess can signify someone who is not as deep as they appear or uses their keen sense and intuitive abilities not as deep as they appear or uses their keen sense and intuitive abilities to control and manipulate. There is a sense of falseness, superficiality, and entitlement about the high priestess when she appears reversed. That doesn't sound like Molly to me. Personally, I don't think that sounds like Molly. I do maybe the keen senses and intuitive abilities. She's a smart girl, smart cookie. Um, I think we'll need to see. I'm gonna pull another card just to be like, kind of what, like for expansion on like what that means as where she, why she was put on this planet for that. It's a weird one. The cards might be mad at me. Don't take it personally. Okay. Oh. Okay, this one is the star. The star. And the star is XVII. XVII. 17. 17, I should know that. XVII. The star represents hope, inspiration, generosity, sincerity, and faith. This star helps you reflect on your blessings to foster a positive outlook. The card depicts a woman surrounded by eight stars. Eight is the number of strengths, which it, eight is the number of strength which is needed to accept one's imperfections and build self-esteem in spite of them. Okay, so I think these two together are kind of telling me a story of like, like, I don't know, like playing off of the superficial, the shallow, and seeing people for their strengths or finding strength um, in like kind of like the shallow depths of the world. So seeing strength and personality and perseverance throughout, like no matter what you're looking at, even if something looks deep, like taking a different look at some, or even if something looks shallow, taking a different look at it and seeing like what's actually there and kind of like not, not, stopping at the first answer so that's what I'm seeing for your purpose kind of like finding meaning in things and then what type of role is aligned with your life's purpose and we have the queen of swords in first queen of swords in first and what's interesting here I'll flip it up for you is there are these butterflies used as the symbolism like I'm seeing a lot of parallels between these two cards just in the lighting the symbolism of butterflies the wings so I'm interested to see um, how that connects oh I forgot to use the other book I don't feel like it right now I'm sorry Queen of Swords in first swords. So first of all, the suit of swords represents intellect, communication, conflict, and resolution, action, change, force, power, oppression, and ambition. So like action, movement, relationships, um, like are very important in this world. 
and I think that's like specifically when we're talking about careers like maybe communication can be a big part of that like action like if we're looking at the first two cards we pulled like taking action when you find these deeper truths in the shallow might be what we're looking at and the queen of Lord, so the queen of swords reversed can represent a lack of compassion and a bitterness with no mercy jealousy vindictiveness and distrust are traits often seen when this card is reversed that doesn't sound like molly i'm sorry but it doesn't sound like molly but we're looking at the type of role that's aligned with her purpose kind of like and because okay because hear me out hear me out because we have the flappy flaps the the the, the butterflies um, tying back to this idea of the shallow and the first layer and then we have this like like no mercy card kind of tying back into that between the butterflies i'm wondering if it's something about like a role where you have to make tough decisions you have to be a tough communicator you have to be really firm um when working with people um yeah and just like very decisive very sharp like she has in the photo she has a very sharp sword here too so i'm getting like a lot of sharpness kind of like a deep like in order to kind of find the star in the shallows like maybe you have to be no nonsense you have to be like this is the decision this is what i'm seeing you have to have that like confidence and when women are confident they're often seen as bitchy so maybe that's why the cards are being kind of bitchy right now don't tell the cards i said that but that's just what i'm thinking and then can you stay where you are or should you switch career paths we have another queen, queen of cups. Queen of cups also inversed. Inversed queen of cups. The suit of cups represents emotions, love, connection, and the subconscious and relationships. So kind of like swords are actions and like communication that's almost like a businessy firm like no nonsense relationships relationships that need to have action whereas the cups they're water they're soft they're um the gushy relationships your love your friendship your relationships that don't have like an action needed with them it's just love for the sake of loving so the queen of cups reversed can represent someone who is overly emotional naive and easily manipulated instead of helping those truly in need she aids anyone who feeds her a hard luck story even if her intentions are self-serving she leaves herself vulnerable to dishonest abusers of her kindness that last line the like vulnerable for abusers of your kindness i think that's kind of what we're alone we're leaning in here kind of maybe like you have to harden up and find that queen of swords to not be taken advantage of as the queen of of cups the queen of cups there's like pros and cons obviously um but maybe like kind of we were just looking at like the shallowness of the high priestess and maybe in the place you're at now you're kind of not seeing beyond like you're not seeing what you need to see because you're taking things at face value and maybe you need to dig deeper into things 
to kind of move into that position where you become the queen of swords or maybe you need to find like some sort of balance between them because these are really like very polar opposite like approaches to engaging with people which in the workplace like this kind of approach of letting yourself be walked over or letting yourself your emotional ties with people like outshine your professional opinion is like a balance you might be struggling with right now i don't know if that resonates but maybe it does and then finally this was upright okay we have the lovers which is how can you best live out your destiny live out your destiny that's the first like man on any of your cards interesting lots of feminine energy lots of purples coming out Lovers represent a strong connection to another person through a physical attraction, deep love, or kinship, empathetic connection, or strong friendship. This card is the card of soulmates and seeing yourself in another person. So, with all of that in mind, where you want to live out your destiny with the lover card, I think you need to work on kind of what we talked about, like becoming harsher, maybe more device decisive in a role so that you can kind of fulfill like these deeper connections. I'm really seeing a lot of like, this is all really communication based. So I think like your career is taking you in a place of like helping people and seeing people in a different way and like building really strong relationships and helping like those bringing those relationships into the workplace so that's what i see for molly good night molly if you're turning off the camera now or not the camera you know you know good night molly And now we're going to move on to Sierra. And Sierra was asking about a love connection. Kind of wanting to read out what's up with a love connection, the intentions of a love connection, what's going on there. So I'm doing what is called the Temple of Aphrodite spread, which I found, again, on google.com. G-O-O-G-L-E. It's a simplified version, but it's a powerful relationship spread, and we are going to be doing inverse. So I'm going to try to think about Sierra's love life. What is she getting from this person as I'm setting out? I promise I didn't peek. Okay. 
So the first card, like basically, you can't see it, but how it's laid out is three cards on the left, three cards on the right, and one card in the middle. Three cards on the left are Sierra, the three cards on the right are the Lover, and the card in the middle is where this is all building to. Cool. So, we'll start with Sierra first. First question is, what do you think? So what does Sierra think about this relationship? And we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Wands is a suit we've yet to see today. Well, because Molly was all in the Arcanas, it was very interesting. Wands, 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 wands. So the suit of wands represents creativity, inspiration, artistic endeavors, primal energy, spirituality, determination, strength, intuition, ambition, and courage. And the Queen of Wands and you came out upright. The Queens of Wands, the Queen of Wands is attractive, magnetic, energetic, confident, and warm. Although not unnecessarily emotional, she is caring and sincere and draws people in with her cheerfulness and optimism. I feel like Sierra's gonna chuckle at that, but I feel cheery around her, so chuckle all you want. The queen is strong and capable. She is a creative visionary and knows she is capable of accomplishing anything she sets her mind to. Her ability to soar like an eagle makes her very inspiring to others and is very much part of her allure. Some symbolism I'm seeing in here. We have reds, a lot of reds. We have, I'm gonna say, a lioness in there, and then some bubbles. So we'll build off that. I'm gonna take a sip of the booch. Now we're seeing kind of what the love interest thinks and that is the three of cups three of cups three of cups three of cups so we kind of went over cups is like romance squishy emotions squishy relationships um and the three of cups represents a celebration friendship social invitations pregnancy or a birth. I don't think pregnancy or a birth is what's happening here. I just don't. I'm sorry. Maybe. I won't put you on blast on the internet. It represents an accomplishment, good fortune, or connection with others. Happiness, sharing, reflection, love, and abundance are the themes of this card. Love and abundance. I'm kind of seeing here is like a strong independence, a recognition of her own power from Sierra, um, creativity, which is like very independent, powerful, open to abundance. And then from our love interest, there's something joy is happening, an abundance of something, potentially an abundance of romantic feelings just an overall intrigue, um, very positive, positive reading we're getting from both of these people and how they're feeling right now. And then the second one is what you feel. So I guess those are what they are thinking logically and now we're going to touch into their hearts. So they're thinking about abundance, they're thinking charismatically, they're thinking great thoughts. Ace of Wands for Sierra. 
continuation of wands, a continuation of red. You have these jewels, this sloping dragon, lizard guy, flowers. So back to wands. Yeah, I'm just not reusing that other book I told you I was going to use. I'm a liar. Ace of Wands represents a new creative venture or opportunity. Inspiration, ambition, and potential. It encourages us to move forward towards a goal with enthusiasm and confidence. It's time to harness creative energy and move forward, putting fears aside in order to cultivate a dream. So what I'm seeing from Sierra's half of this is her head is thinking confidence is thinking independence and then her heart is very in line with that and like go 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 like it's screaming at her to go to move forward towards this this relationship potentially there's just like something inside her that's like propelling her forward and then the love interest we have the knight of pentacles Knight of Pentacles riding his pony. Riding his pony. There's also some crystals in the art here, kind of paralleling back to the crystals on Sierra's side. Uh -huh. I'm also seeing flowers on the love interest side and flowers on Sierra's. Interesting. To talk pentacles tonight so we'll get the refresher the refresher for you not for me i totally know this stuff definitely don't need the refresher at all okay the suit of pentacles represents material things and money work business trade and prosperity it relates to the element of earth and therefore corresponds with the signs of capricorn taurus and virgo Cautious and thought and thorough. Cautious and thorough. Thoughtful and hardworking. The knight can be stubborn with an all work and no play attitude. Although the uh, the least romance, although the least romantic of the knights, his stability and reliability makes him a loyal, trustworthy partner. So this is how he's feeling. So what he was thinking is abundance big things happening, big feelings, big connections near each other, but then he's feeling kind of logical about the whole thing. He's feeling cautious potentially because he's being thorough and hardworking. He's like, it's an interesting dichotomy because on Sierra's side, I also said he, I'm pretty sure it's a he, if not how heteronormative of me. Um, but so on Sierra's side, the heart's going, go, go, go. And then on the lover's side is going, I don't know. Like my head is telling me this, but my heart is a little scared, a little held back. Or like, it's held back in a careful way, an important way. Um, a way that's really valuable, something you might like to see in a partner but it does make it frustrating at this phase where it's there's a go 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 and there's a is this the best thing on to the next row which is the sexual feelings of the two people so for Sierra's we have the two of pentacles fun little balancing act in this image And the Two of Pentacles represents keeping things in balance, juggling several things at once, adaptability, and the ability to go with the flow. It's about having fun, high spirits, and enjoying life while rising to meet life's challenges. So, maybe a balancing of the fun sexual energy with 
reality is might be what we're seeing here uh especially if we're getting some held back feelings on the other side i don't know i don't know if it resonates let me know over text we're friends we text and then the last one i just had a booch burp is this was inversed. The Nine of Pentacles inversed. Lots of pentacles coming here at the end. Nine of Pentacles inversed. It's so interesting that in this love reading we're getting a lot of like the work related cards. Um, I don't know how that resonates with you, if it resonates with you. Could not be true. The cards were being kind of mean earlier, so. Inversed. The nine of pit can re <laughs> The nine of pentacles appears reversed. When the nine of pentacles appears reversed, it can represent disharmony in the home, financial stress, or, the, or a possible theft. insane of me to say. I'm sorry. I was trying to be funny. It says, the usual easy flow of things has been disrupted and one is jarred into a sense of panic and discomfort. So maybe we got like kind of too held, like held back in the heart. Maybe that's leaning over into like the physical attraction of it all. Like feeling held back. Um, feeling, what was it, what was it, do, 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 do. feeling financially insecure in the physical track, and that doesn't make any sense, we're joshing, but maybe there's some insecurity there, maybe there's some loss or some fear that's kind of stemming from, like, Kind of if we're talking heart and physical attraction, if you're feeling held back, if you're feeling nervous emotionally, that probably, yeah. And then fill in the dots. And then last, we have the lovers, but inversed, inversed lovers, inversed lovers. Second time the lovers have shown up tonight in two different directions. So inversed, the lovers, reversed can represent a destructive relationship where obsession, jealousy, and control are at play. Instead of a union where each person flourishes in this partnership, each is stifled by mistrust, manipulation, and possibly abuse. But if it's an answer that resonates, get out of there. And if it's an answer that doesn't, I'm just a girl with a tarot deck. So, take it with a grain of salt. The cards are being kind of mean to my friends tonight, and I don't know if I appreciate it. Sierra, good night. <laughs> if you're turning it off or if you're staying around for Tessa's. Um, and if you hated that, you're sorry. And now we're gonna go on to Tessa, which goes back into career. Um, and Tessa was kind of at a crossroad with careers, with balancing, having family, having a family, being a parent, with having a career. So I pulled yet another spread off of google.com. And we'll see what it says. The two questions are, or the four questions are, one, you, Tessa, in relationship to your 
life's purpose your personal life's purpose your life's purpose in your family and community and your global life's purpose so we're kind of going about purposes it ties into family I think like I think we'll get some like okay answers or some really mean answers because the cards have been being kind of mean today. Let's see. just shot out of the deck demanding to be placed I love when I do that that one is three and four okay so our first card is the knight of swords First Knight of Swords. We have a man with fun hair flying on a Pegasus. Upside down. We have crows. We have wings. Very blue toned images this time. Knight of Swords. We kind of talked about how these are like more communication based, like more action-based relationships like jobs and such and that is the knight the knight knight lots of royalty tonight ladies the knight inverse can signify an overly aggressive person with a total lack of self-control and objectivity it indicates someone defending his point of view in a hostile manner without regard for anyone else's opinion. And that's you in relation to your life's purpose. Maybe there's just like an over, like maybe it's, you're not the overly aggressive person, right? You're like, you, like, it's almost like your life's purpose is something that's like whining at you, like whining at you, kind of unrelenting, maybe the ideas societally about what your life's purpose are are aggressive and annoying and it's hard not to listen to them um and i think we'll look at your personal life's purpose which is the page of wands page of wands also inverse so that's more creative independent again another royal so interesting um ones are at the end of a book. So the inverse page of wands can represent someone whose creative vision is scattered and ignored d scattered and disorganized. This fickle person has short has a short attention span and can't stick with one project long enough to see it through to completion. So maybe like kind of in that relationship between like this nagging night, this nagging purpose, this like idea of what your purpose should be is you having a lot of little creative endeavors, like smaller creative, like varied projects. Um, and like the world wants you to fit in this one box where you like commit to this one thing, but you're kind of like a free spirit in that way, or you like to try a lot of things out. 
maybe your focus isn't necessarily on like career it's on like finding happiness and purpose um and like your personal life's purpose is like more eclectic than like this staunch dark aggressive what your purpose quote unquote should be and then your life's purpose in your family and community and you got the fool upright the fool is the beginning of the journey we have some butterflies um a beautiful sunset behind you so the fool means taking a chance unlimited potential enthusiasm naivete Blind faith, spontaneity, and a zest for life. This fool is at the beginning of the journey, facing many adventures and choices. She looks around, marveling at the beauty of her surroundings. She watches the flight of butterflies, delighting in their freedom. She is completely unaware of the dangers that, fa that face her as she nears stepping off a cliff into the unknown. This card symbolizes taking a leap of faith, and cautions to be more aware of ever-present dangers. So I feel like this is like the family and community center of this spread. Like your purpose in relationship to family and community. And this is definitely like, it feels like where your heart is and where your main venture is, is in this family space. So maybe you have these like eclectic things you want to try out on the side but like your whole adventure that you kind of marvel at and want to look at is in this family community space it's about these personal relationships over big life or over career life which like in mind of being like will there be a career after kids like maybe family is the big adventure and you have these collective side quests that you get to try on on the side and then finally the global life's purpose is two of swords which is this blindfolded lady is intellect, communication, conflict, and resolution, action, change, force, power, oppression, ambition, harder, hard things. And the two of swords represents, re represents reaching an impasse or stalemate. The woman pictured in the card is calm and stable-minded as portrayed by the balancing balanced swords. She refuses to see the problem at hand, therefore avoiding making a decision. The two ravens fly in opposite directions, satisfying two different paths she's facing. Signifying the two different paths she's facing. So, when I think global life's purpose, I'm thinking like, really zoomed out what your purpose is. Like, not like, is Tessa gonna solve global warming? You know, that kind of thing. Is she going to be a politician? But more of like, at the end of the life, your life, when we're like stepping back and taking account for all you are, like, for all you did, like, the overarching themes. And so this is kind of an interesting card to pull at this time. I think it's, what it's signifying to me is like, your heart is in this kid and family and personal life space your interests maybe don't lie super i don't know whatever resonates with you but what i'm seeing is you kind of have these two paths ahead of you and the cards i don't think it's time to tell us how both of those will go down or which way you're gonna go like some things are not for finding immediate answers 
but I think there's kind of like an excitement in the family space and some, I'm gonna say it again, creative, eclectic energy in the career space. Um, and maybe you'll strike a balance of those two. So maybe we do this card three years from now, or do this spread three years from now. And you're getting like the two of pentacles in balance and there's a plane and I hope you can't hear it because I don't feel like stopping. But maybe you're leading to balance, but right now I think you kind of have to like stay blind to where exactly things are gonna go and enjoy your surroundings and being the fool, taking that step and diving into the unknown in that community family space and like keeping in mind that there will be side quests more than just A or B on the menu in life. I think that one was a little kinder than the other two, but that was my tarot readings for my goyles. I hope you don't hate them and I hope you don't hate me. And I hope you sleep so great tonight. So good night, Tessa. If you hung around for everybody's, good night, Molly. If you hung around for Tessa's, good night, Sierra. Good night, good night, good night. I hope you have a great day or evening or whatever you're doing. I think that's what I used to say. And I'll see you later. <laughs>